Hey, algebra students. I'm here with Mrs. Vale today. Hello, everyone. We're going to team teach this lesson today. Today, we're starting with adding and subtracting polynomials. And many of you might be looking at that word polynomial going, oh my gosh, what the heck does that mean? Well, a polynomial is just a word that describes an expression. And there are three different types of polynomials that we say are more specific. So we learned yesterday about terms, and so if we have just one term, then that's called a monomial. If you've got two terms, that's a binomial. If you've got three terms, that's a trinomial. And then if you've got more than three terms, the, we just use the generic word polynomial. All of these, however, are still polynomials. It's just that these have very specific names. We are going to use algebra tiles today to talk about some of these polynomials. What I want you to do right now is grab some colored pencils, they should be around the room or if you have your own, and stop the video and color this section what it says to color. Welcome back. Hopefully you're finished with all of your coloring. So when you actually have physical tiles on your desk, hopefully if you're in the classroom, look around, there are physical tiles in the room. If you notice, the bigger squares these, there's a blue side and there's a red side, and the blue side is representing x squared. The red side is representing negative x squared. The green side on the long rectangles, the green side is an x, and the, the red side is a negative x. And then you've got the littler squares. These are our unit tiles. The yellow ones are worth positive one, and the red ones are worth negative one. And so if you notice all the negatives, those are all red. So anything that you see that's red, that represents a negative. Now, oftentimes, we don't have the physical tiles, and so we have to use the tiles on paper. And if I'm using the tiles on paper, we're, we're going to have unshaded and shaded squares. So the unshaded squares right here, those are our positives. So these are all our positives, and the shaded ones are all our negatives. Now you might be asking, well, why are these things called x squared, x, and 1s? Well, if you take a look at just this square right here, right now we don't know the length of either one of these sides. But we could call the length of each side x. So if I put an x here and an x here, the area of this square would be x squared because x times x is x squared. Now positive x comes from this side right here, we don't know the length of this, but if you look at your physical tiles, the length of this does match up with the length of the x squared perfectly, so we can also call this x. And then over here, this is the same size as one side of our unit tiles. This we're going to call 1, and x times 1 is x. And then if I look at my unit tiles, well that's a unit tile worth 1, which means that the dimensions are 1 by 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, so here in this first picture, we have a polynomial that's being represented by these tiles. And we want to figure out what the polynomial is. So we just look at each of the types of tiles. Right here, we have an x squared. And notice since it's unshaded, they're positive. So these three together make 3x squared. And so we wrote that down over here. These two tiles are both negative x's. Each one's a negative x because they're shaded. So altogether, that's negative 2x, which matches what we wrote over here. And then finally, our little tiles are each ones, and we have five of them, and they're unshaded, so they're positive, and then we have a plus 5. Finally, since there's three, t three terms, 1, 2, 3, this polynomial is called a trinomial. You can also tell that over here because there's three types of tiles. There's one, two, three, trinomial. Let's look at the next example. Here we have two of these squares, but since they're shaded, these are negatives. So we're going to write down in this box negative 2x squared. And then we have this rectangle, which is, again, shaded, and so it's a negative x. So we write down subtract x. And then finally, we check out all of these little one, the unit tiles, the ones, and we count them up, and we see that there's eight. And they're unshaded, so they're positive. So we write down plus eight. So again, we have three terms, 
and three different types of tiles, and so this is going to be a trinomial. Okay, there's two examples for you to try. So take a moment, um, pause the video, and write down the expression that you see in um, this box, in this box, and then tell if it's a monomial, a binomial, a trinomial, or polynomial in this box. Um, so take a moment, pause the video, do that, and come back when you're done. Okay, so here are the answers. So check yourself, hopefully you got those right. Okay, so now we're going to go backwards. So here I'm showing you the expressions, the polynomials, and we're going to represent them with the tiles. So if you have, um, if you're in the classroom and you have the tiles, go ahead and get them out. And we are going to represent this first polynomial. We need to show um, 2x squared. So you should be pulling out two of the big squares. And since it's positive 2, you should have them on the blue side. So find two blue squares and lay them on your desk. Next, we need um, the x tiles, which are the rectangles. And they're, again, positive, so they should be on the green side. So find five of those. And you might have to share with someone near you, but find five of those and lay them on your table. And then for the plus one, we just need one unit tile. And again, it's positive, so you want it on the yellow side. To draw in the box, we're just going to sketch these pictures doesn't have to be anything perfect. So we want two of the squares. Since they're positive, we're going to make them unshaded. And then we want five rectangles. And again, they're positive, so we want them unshaded. It doesn't matter if you lay them horizontal or vertical. And then we need one unit tile, one square. And again, it's unshaded because it's positive. And then finally, we're just telling what it is. There's three terms, and so it's a trinomial. Go ahead and do the next three on your own. Um, if you're in class, use the physical tiles first and then draw them in the box and then tell which type it is. And when you're ready, come back and we'll check your answers. Okay, so here are the answers. Um, so pause the video again and take a moment and just check your answers and make sure they all make sense. Okay. Um, please take a second, pause the video, and read these two paragraphs to yourself. Yes, I actually want you to read them. Don't skip this step. I'll know if you don't read it. So pause the video and read it. Okay, so basically we can see here that if I have a positive x and a negative x together, that's going to make zero, right? Because positive x plus negative x is zero. Same thing with any of the other shapes. If I have a positive x squared and a negative x squared all together, that's going to make zero. If I have a negative one and a positive one, that's going to make zero. So what property do you think this is illustrating? Yes, it is the additive inverse property. Okay, so we can use this idea of zero pairs as another way to think about how we add and subtract integers, how we add and subtract positive and negative numbers. So looking at this example, we have negative 5 plus 3, and I'm just modeling that with negative 5 is my, shown by my negative um, tiles, my shaded tiles, there's five of them, and positive 3 is shown by my unshaded tiles, the positive ones. And now we're looking for zero pairs. So um, we can obviously see that there are three zero pairs here. There's one right there, and then a second one, and a third one. So basically they're like canceling out. So you're thinking about those is, um, those are canceling out and making a zero because they're putting a negative one with a one. And then what's left over are these two negative tiles, which is negative two. Now I know that you knew the answer was negative two right from the start, but it's just a good way to picture it and think about what's happening. So if you can visualize this, it might help you if any of you are struggling with adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. Go ahead and do the next example by yourself, and then um, come, so pause the video and do that, and then come back and see if you're right. Okay, so here's a picture of the second example. Hopefully yours just looks just like that, showing the two zero pairs, and the answer is four. Great, thanks Mrs. Vale. Now we're gonna simplify expressions using the tiles. 
So here we've got 2x squared plus 5x minus 3x squared plus 5 minus 2x plus 2. And so when you're simplifying using tiles, you need to write down all of the tiles that you see in the expression, and then we're going to use the tiles to simplify the expression. So every term, we're going to write the tiles down. So I've got 2x squared, so I'm going to draw in here 2 positive x squared. I have plus 5x, so that is 5 little rectangles. And be sure that your rectangles do not look like squares and that your big squares look like big squares. And then I've got minus 3x squared. So that's the term negative 3x squared. So I'm going to draw in 3 shaded x squared. And I like to put them underneath my other x squared because eventually I'm going to cancel those out. Plus 5, so I've got 5 positive 1s, so I've got five little squares minus 2x so that I'm going to have two negative x's so two of those that are shaded again I'm putting those under my other x's and then plus two so I've got plus two and then what we're going to do to simplify it is we're going to cross out any zero pairs that we have so if you notice I have a set of zero pairs right here so these cancel out to leave me with that guy which is a negative x squared and then if you notice I've got you can cancel out these guys you can cancel out any of the two positive ones but I'm just choosing those those cancel out to leave us with positive 3x and then with the ones I don't have any to cancel out so I just add them all together I've got 5 plus 2, which is 7. So my answer is negative x squared plus 3x plus 7. And of course, you can always check it by going back and combining your like terms to make sure that's correct. Sometimes it's necessary to add and subtract polynomials or to divide two or more polynomials. So what if we're asked to, div to add two polynomials? So in this particular case, I've got this polynomial 2x squared plus 5x, and I am adding to that another polynomial, 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. When you've got the two sets of parentheses, we need to think to ourselves, are these parentheses necessary or do I need to do any distributing? If you notice, there's not any numbers before my parentheses, and we are adding these things together. So think about it. Are these parentheses in this case even necessary? Not really. You could look at that plus sign and think, well, if I distribute a positive one, is that going to change anything here? No, it's not. So we're just going to rewrite this expression without the parentheses. So when it's adding, you can just get rid of the parentheses because if you're adding two polynomials together, the parentheses are not necessary. So I'm going to rewrite 2x squared plus 5x plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. And then once I've rewritten it, we're going to use that expression right there to simplify using tiles. So now I've just got one long expression. So we're going to draw the tiles for 2x squared. So I've got two x squared tiles which would be two blue tiles if you're doing this on your desk. Five x's, so I'm going to draw five skinny rectangles. Plus three x squared. So now I've got three x squared. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them with my other x squared. Minus two x. So I'm going to have two shaded x's because that is a negative two x term and then plus 4. And then we're actually going to simplify this with our tiles. So look, is there anything we can cancel out? There is. There are two of these shaded ones. I can cancel out two of the positive ones. So those are 0. And then what I have left, we'll go ahead and write over here algebraically, the answer is 5x squared plus 3x plus 4. Now, if you were asked to simplify this problem without tiles, what are we doing? We're just combining like terms, right? So we would take this expression. We would rewrite it without parentheses because that's an addition sign. We would rewrite it just like this, 
and then just combine your like terms, right? So we can check our answer now. 2x squared plus 3x squared does give me 5x squared. And then 5x minus 2x does give me 3x. And then I've got my constant of 4 at the end. Now, subtraction often throws us off a little bit. If we look at this, we've got two sets of parentheses, and I'm asking you to take this trinomial and subtract this binomial. So what we're really doing is we're taking this whole thing and we're taking away an x squared. We are also taking away a 3x. So since that minus sign is in front of the parentheses, this minus sign has to get distributed to both of these. The first set of parentheses isn't necessary once we distribute this minus sign. So we are distributing the minus sign forwards. Do not distribute it backwards because this is really just subtraction of these terms. And I want you to subtract it from the first polynomial. So if I rewrite this, I'm going to rewrite this as 2x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus x squared minus 3x. So when there's subtraction here, that's important. We have to distribute the minus sign. Then once we do that, the parentheses at the front can go away. So now we're going to look at the rewritten expression to show us how to um, simplify this with tiles. So we've got 2x squared. So I'm going to draw in 2x squareds, 4x's, so four positive rectangles, plus 1 is a single unit tile, negative x squared, so we're going to take a negative x squared tile, I'm going to shade that in, minus 3x, so we're going to have three negative x tiles, so we shade in those three. And then we, just like before, we just cancel what we have. So here is a zero pair, that goes away. Here I'm going to cancel out three total of each color, that gives me zero. And we don't have any ones to cancel out. So what I'm left with here is x squared plus x plus one. And then again, we can check our answer by going through and making sure that we rewrote the problem right, we distributed the minus sign to give us negative x and negative 3x, and then we can just combine our like terms. So we've got 2x squared minus x squared to leave us with 1x squared. We've got 4x minus 3x, again to leave us with a 1, but it's an x, and then we have the constant or the unit tile of 1 right there. Now finish the rest for homework. Good luck.